When you think about the future of businesses, countries, or the individual citizen, it will be built around the next phase of the Internet. It will be called collaboration, enabled by a series of technologies called Web 2.0. So when people talk about collaboration, it is the future. It's how you're going to drive productivity. It's how you're going to drive job creation. It's how you're going to address issues which we've not been able to solve before in terms of 3 billion people around the world operating on less than $2 a day in income. It has the chance to change everything, not just in business, but the lives of all citizens of the world. When you think about a collaboration and how rapidly it's changing, the first phase of the Internet was really driven from businesses to the consumer. The second phase of the Internet, which will be based on collaboration and a bunch of technology tools, which we call Web 2.0, will be driven from the consumer into business and government and healthcare and education. And what it really is is just a bunch of technologies, often including data, voice, and video, that you're able to connect any technology to any content. And to share that not one-on-one -on -one or one person to machine, but among many people, which allow us to solve problems and move with speed and take on more opportunities than we could ever do in the prior way. In short, it will allow us to bring health care to citizens in ways that couldn't have been done before, education. It will allow us also to have new business models. Using Cisco as an example, we completely will change the way that we function as a company, moving from a command to control, which obviously I'm very comfortable with, to collaboration and teamwork. Putting process <clears throat> behind these social networks, if you will, but it will transform the companies of the world in a way that we've not seen probably during business history. Well, one of the unique things about the World Economic Forum and what Kloss has done is bringing together public and private groups to address common goals. But what was missing is how do you sustain that, not just from the yearly meetings, but how do you build a structure which allows people to come together to collaborate both in the social networks but also in the formal public-private networks in a way that can change the world. And we're beginning to see that in terms of our efforts in terms of Africa, our efforts in the Middle East and around the world, to where none of us could do it as an individual company. But companies working together with public and private partnerships, including obviously NGOs and subject matter expertise, suddenly can change the world, not temporarily, as has been done in the past for a country, to occur for a period of time, but permanently around the world. Often when people talk about communications, they talk about the new forms of communications and is this a change in terms of your communication strategy, in terms of how you use video, how you use blogging, how do you use podcasts, if you will, etc. But I think it goes way beyond that. It isn't about changing your communication strategy. It's about changing your vision of what is possible as a company. It's about new formal process in terms of business social networks to be able to address issues with speed and efficiency that couldn't occur. It will literally not only be new communication techniques where we can communicate with our customers, our supply chain, or among ourselves in large groups and to share information by whatever device we want. And it changes everything. It will not only change the structure of companies, it will change the efficiency, the winners and losers on a global basis. But what is exciting is it won't be for a year or two. It will be, for in my opinion, over a decade in terms of its implications.